At that point, as it pleased him to spend some time in the city for the purpose of visiting the places of the saints, Rumor of his sanctity soon reached the emperor and the patriarch, for light is scarcely able to hide in the shadows. Not unmindful of the Lord's words, he received They reverently welcomed and received him with happy spirits, and when they talked to each other on friendly terms, they revered the elegance of his bearing, his age, and the sweet and abundant wisdom of this miraculous man of God. Then the emperor, as befitting his station, endowed him with the most precious purple robe and many presents. No less did the patriarch offer him praises, since he was delighted by his mellifluous words, and he gave to him he gave to him two small fragments of the cross of salvation, encased in pure gold in the shape of a cross, which he wore about his neck during the remainder of his pilgrimage for his own protection.